Okay, in this video, I'm going to do question 1b, wrong, uh, question 6 of exercise 1b on page 18 of the book, Fundamental Applied Mathematics. So in the question, you're given two vectors, a and b. a is a vector 3i hat plus j hat, b is a vector i hat plus 7j hat. So, of course, we define the usual unit vectors or the directions for the, for the vector unit vectors as normal. So the j hat is pointing vertically upwards and i hat is pointing horizontally to the right. So that means the vector a has three units in the in the positive x direct uh, positive x axis and one unit in the positive y axis, or b is one unit in the positive x axis and seven units in the positive y axis. And the question we're asked is: Is a plus b perpendicular to a minus b? Now, what does perpendicular mean? It means that there is an angle of 90 degrees between them. So first of all, let's sketch the vectors. So we have A is 3 units on the x-axis. We'll say that's 3 and it's 1 unit uh, in the y. So that's approximately A. And B similarly is drawn, as, uh, drawn like so. Next, we need to find out what the vector A plus B is equal to. So to do that, we write down A, which is here. We write down b, which is here, so 3i hat plus j hat plus i hat plus 7j hat. And you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide anything provided they're in the same dimension or the same direction. So look, we have 3i hat and i hat here. You can add, subtract, multiply, and divide those similarly with the j hat here. So I'm going to rearrange this equation uh, so that I have all the i hats on, on here and all the j hats over here. And finally, just add all the, the all the pieces together. So you get a plus b is equal to 4i hat plus 8j hat. That's something we've done plenty of times at this stage. Next, we have to find out what a minus b is equal to. So in the same fashion, we write down a, we write down b. We rearrange to put the i hats here and the j hats here. We put the i hat uh, vectors together and the j hat vectors together. And we carry out our uh, algebra, so 1 minus 7 and 3 minus 1, to get that a minus b is equal to 2 i hat minus 6 j hat. So what are we going to do next? We're going to sketch the vectors. So this is the vector a plus b. Remember that was 4 i hat plus 8 j hat. So that is plus plus. That means it's in the uh, it's in the first quadrant. Just as a very quick recap, we have if we define plus and plus like this in terms of the directions of those arrows, this quadrant is plus i plus j minus i plus j minus i minus j and plus i minus j. So we can see straight away this plus plus that goes into the first quadrant as we have here. This one is plus minus, that means it goes into the third quadrant as we've got here. So I'm going to define the angle of theta between the vector a plus b and the x axis and the vector wrong, the angle alpha between the vector x, excuse me, between the, um, the vector a minus b and the x axis. Now, we're asked to find out whether there is an angle of 90 degrees between them. Remember, if there's an angle of 90 degrees, it'll look something like this. Something like that, anyway. Okay? So, well, the first thing we need to do is find out at what angle these vectors are to whatever axis. Like, for example, you call this angle here gamma, and you could, you could find out what gamma is. You could call this angle, angle here, I don't know, um, beta, and you could find out what beta is. But we need to find some way of finding out what angle these vectors are. At. So to do that we use our normal uh, Sokotoa and we know that tan is opposite over adjacent. Okay, opposite over adjacent. And we also know that uh, our vectors are a plus b is equal to 4i hat plus 8j hat. So look, we know that if we were to, we know that a plus b is a, a resultant vector made up of two vectors in the unit vector directions. This vector here and this vector here. We know that the magnitude of this perpendicular or vertical vector is 8 units because that's what we found up here. And similarly, we know the vector 
uh, in the i hat direction is equal to 4 units like that because we got it up here similarly over here we know that um, this vector here is composed the vector a minus b is composed of two vectors namely this one and this one here the magnitude of the horizontal vector is two units and the magnitude of the vertical vector is six units now bear with me a moment why is that not minus six because we're talking about magnitude and magnitude is how far something is away from the x-axis or from the origin we'll say so for example up here if I say that this is plus six this is minus six now if I say this this will say point is x is equal to six the point here is x is equal to minus or we'll say um, we're going to call it a is equal to minus 6. Now, what is the magnitude of A? The magnitude of A is equal to 6 units. That's how far it is away from the origin. It doesn't matter about its sign. Similarly, the magnitude of X is equal to 6 units. So the sign, oh, excuse me there, the sign is actually irrelevant in terms of magnitude. The sign is irrelevant. So down here, we know that we're in the third quadrant, around the fourth quadrant. But the magnitude of this vector is 6 units. That it's how big the vector is. The length of it is 6 units. And we, know, we also know that it ha happens to have a direction in the negative j hat. But we know its magnitude is 6. So back over here. From Sokotoa, we know that tan is opposite over adjacent. Well, we have 8 and we have 4 for in regard to theta. So we have both the opposite and adjacent. Of course, you go ahead and use Pythagoras to get the... The, to get the magnitude of the, uh, the the hypotenuse or the magnitude of a plus b and use sine and cosine but I'm not going to do that I'm going to say tan theta is equal to 8 over 4 opposite over adjacent theta is equal to inverse tan 8 over 4 theta is equal to 63 degrees similarly over here tan theta is opposite over adjacent so it's opposite 6 over adjacent 2 or tan alpha sorry so alpha is equal to arc tan. Remember, arc, arc something is equal to inverse something. They're the same. I'm just writing that so you get to see it a bit more and are not afraid to see that on a textbook. Arc tan 6 over 2. Alpha is equal to 71 degrees. So finally then, what do we do? We sketch our two vectors. We have this vector here. Sorry, when I'm saying the direction is not important, I'm talking about the magnitude, so the direction is already taken into account by the fact that we have negative 6 here. Anyway, so we have two, we, have our, we draw our Cartesian plane as normal. This vector here is a plus b. This vector here is a minus b. Now, if we add 63 and 71, we get 134 degrees. That's not 90, so therefore they're not perpendicular. And... Uh, let me think now, is there anything else? That's the answer to the question. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else we can add to that? Are there any other ways? Well, of course, look. Of course, there is another way of doing it. Um, just, this is just for clarity. Obviously, this would be more difficult, and essentially it is the same thing anyway. But just for clarity, you could get the angle, um, I'll call it the angle tau. That's kind of like a T. You could get this angle here. Of course, you could do that, and you would say... 360 minus tau and if that's equal to 90 or oh sorry um, is equal to 90 then they're perpendicular if not well then they're not perpendicular so anyway that's how you do question one uh, question six and exercise 1b I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed watching thanks for watching again please subscribe to my video and pass it on to your friends